Hi, my name is Julia Cho and I'm the writer of Aubergine. It's very much a play about a man who is dealing with the death of his parent. So it's a lot about that parent-child relationship in the final days. This death became a kind of beginning of so many other things. It isn't that death is the end point, but it, it becomes its own sort of destination and then beyond it a new kind of path opens up. It wasn't really a play that began with the intention to be written. Berkeley Rep approached me because they had uh, this sort of crazy project in mind of bringing together all these different playwrights to write very short plays about food. I found myself really uh, struggling to write. So this kind of was a tricky way to start writing again because it seemed very small. <laughs> I was like, oh, only 20 pages? Okay, I can do that. This play about food started to come out and then very quickly I realized the types of food I was thinking about were um, like the kinds of meals I had as a kid or the types of meals I had with my family. And it became very clear to me that actually in writing about food I ended up writing about other things instead and that how food is sort of this vessel for so many other things. One of the reasons why I had stopped writing was because my uh, father had passed away and there was sort of this big shift in my life. I would never have been able to sit down and write about that. But then I found that having this sort of back door into it was exactly maybe what I needed. Going through um, the death of a parent where it was something that was a process because it happened at home and it through hospice. I found myself just as a person, not as a writer, experiencing all these things that were so mysterious before and realizing, oh, there's actually a, an experience that's very common that we will all go through. This is something I wish I knew before I'd gone through it. Maybe someday when you need it, you can think back on what you saw and it will have some bearing on, you know, some part of your life.